China, Ryan Laird will be on the program. Big stage, big crowd in southern Saskatchewan where they love their country music. Nervous? No, I'm excited more yeah. than nervous. Yeah, it's, uh, it's my first time at Craven here in Regina, and I've been hearing about this festival for years, so to finally be uh, playing here is uh, a real pleasure. You're a Riders fan? A uh, Riders, Rough Riders. Yes. Yeah, they're playing. Well, see, we go on at 2 o'clock on the main right. stage today, yeah. and uh, their game starts then, so I'm, I've got my brother <laughs> with his iPhone going to give me updates from the stage. Oh! Tell me the score. Yeah. So keep the fan, you know, let's let everybody know how the, how the game's going. You know what? <laughs> here's, here's a little tip. Brian, this is what you do. You, you just make up the score. Just, just the top of my head. Yeah, just say, "Oh, Riders just scored!" Woo! If I want to, so if I don't get a good response to one of my songs, That's yeah. Like, Ooh, well, even the like... Riders just scored. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! And then like, I want to dedicate this to all the Rider fans. Woo! Right? Woo! Yeah, yeah. Thank just, you. Because they just scored. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> well, you know, I'm more than hair and teeth sometimes. You certainly are. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So we were driving in uh, to the site today. And we heard your song. Oh, cool! I'm your man. And and how? Tell tell us the, the first time you heard it on the radio. I was um, the first time I heard it. I was with my family in uh, Fergus, Ontario, and we were driving, and uh, it was a real exciting feeling. And I got to tell you, my brother is my drummer in my band. I yep. told you about him yeah, before. Yeah. Him and his girlfriend right. are the inspiration for I'm right. your man. He's standing right here. Let's get him. If, uh, I love it. There he is. Get it. Oh, come on. Man. Come on. Get I it. Come on. Come here. 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 Okay, so so your brother writes the song, right, to get your girl back. Yeah. And it works. Yeah, it helped out a lot. It helped out a lot. It worked. We're together now, and uh, hi, Shannon, and we're doing uh, really well, so it's good. Wow. <laughs> so what, what have you done for him lately? Uh, yeah, come on, man. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I laugh at all of his jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I laugh at all his jokes. Well, that's a start. That's awesome. Do you ever sit down when you have time and you just look back at the last 12 months and go, what the? Totally, because I, I kind of do that like every year if I look at my life, because if you ask me like, okay, maybe 10 years ago, I'd yeah. be like, wow, would I be sitting here on CMT yeah. doing this interview? Yeah, I'd be yeah. like probably laughing, <laughs> like no way. <laughs> and then uh, like last, you know, a couple years ago, I started going, or well, five years ago, I started yeah. going to Nashville to write songs, but that was still like, I was still creating my, my yeah. music, trying to figure out what my sound was sure. and you know so it's been like every year I've been growing and then I finally got the songs and now I got the first song on the radio right and on. I don't have the full-length album yet but that'll be the next probably big step will be hopefully I'm hoping by the end of the year to get the full album done and so you know. so I know mom and dad have been there from ground zero with you yeah. but at some point you probably if it was me I would want to legitimize what I was doing in the sense that mom dad don't worry about me yeah. I'm gonna be okay, and and you have to get to a certain level before mom and dad actually believe you. Do you think you got there? Well, yeah. That I mean, that's is a uh, yeah. You see that a lot. Yeah. And the thing with my parents is they they were they call it a blessing or a curse. I I never wanted to to do anything else but right. music. So I you know at least I knew what I wanted to do as a little kid. So and they were they were I got to give it to them. They were pretty supportive from the beginning. They they put me in in piano and guitar lessons when I was a kid and. They drive me around to my first shows and, and stuff like that. So it was, uh, you know, they, they've been there since the beginning. And, uh, you know, thanks, Mom and Dad.